Welcome to this video playing Hisoka 44 from China. Yeah, I played this guy before and you think it's I think it's titled, yeah. Well, it does not have a name there, but uh, this is a strong player. I remember that I played him. Got three three and a half out of five. Okay, maybe we, let, let's do something else. Get the, the Sicilian. But play a slightly conservative line, maybe. Make sure that I get, I don't know. He's attacking this now, hmm. hmm. Yeah, hmm, I don't want to give away the pawn, obviously. So maybe this is why they castle. <laughs> so rookie one is available. Not sure that I really want the queen on e2, but mm -hmm. okay. Okay, I go. No, I go to d3. This is this is certainly all right. That looks like a fine position for white. What what is his uh, central setup now? I'm threatening e5 here basically. And those two knights on d7 and d5 they are stepping on each other's toe. Yeah, hmm, this one. Come on, I play I play a very simple method now. Let's just take and try to play for the light squares like c4 and d5. Maybe I can get a trade of this dark squared bishop in. Yeah. Kind of very, very simple chess. Taking e5. And now do I get in? Yeah, I can probably, let's think about it for a moment. Knight e3, uh, this I have, yes, bishop g5. Go knight e3. Mm. Yeah, I need to, need to go there anyway so I can I can do it do it right away. Bishop b7. Hmm. I would like to get in bishop c4 to d5, of course. Ah, oh, he's dropping back. Interesting. Okay. this actually knight e4 there's knight d5 bishop b7 there's also knight d5 directly yeah okay this is good i get in i get in this piece on d5 and it's coming with tempo as bishop takes rook takes i also have e5 under attack uh, wait queen c4 maybe an idea? No. Probably not. And I can t I can try to grab the pawn, like take it on b7 and hmm. Okay, I'm I'm playing it simple. Hmm. If I take on e5 Hey, he's got bishop f6 at the end with this counterplay. Um, I can I can play it in a very very stodgy fashion, like with c4, b3, all on light squares. But 
Hmm. And the knight somehow to d5. Hmm. Why e3? But he always has bishop g5 to um, to counter that. I don't have uh, my time. Um, c4 is not ideal, but it leads to the easiest possible position to play. All on light squares and then go from there. But it's not a very happy move. I wanted to get the knight to d5 ideally, but I wasn't sure. I couldn't take e5. Maybe I could take e5, but I really couldn't make it work. Maybe bishop to g, knight to g4, yeah? knight e5, bishop f6, knight g4, maybe this was the solution. Yeah. A move like c4 always keeps um, the positional edge, but it's not clear how I'm going to win this. Yeah, this typical exchange sec. <laughs> okay, it's 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 not sufficient, obviously, but he needs to do something. Um, let's see. Check. The rook trade is the problem. With um, the rooks on, it's a different thing. Think he can trade him. Time warning. And here, rook e8. I'm not winning there. So I should just um, place the queen as actively as possible. And see how I can progress from here. Rook e8, something like that. e8, a8. Yeah, it's not easy to win. This is the problem. Hmm. Now there is twenty seconds. Hmm. Yeah, fairly ridiculous that this happens, Check. but <sighs> yeah, the bloody time uh, from this game. It was a totally one-sided affair. Nah, okay. You can probably play d3 even. Cannot calculate this right now. Oops, I actually have taken. Ah, okay. Check. White forfeits on time. Yeah, screw this, really. Ah, how well, frustrating. Yeah, he plays. Okay, come on. I shouldn't get to this typical rent where uh, this is totally insufficient. I mean, totally. 
I can just I can also just play f3, but I thought it's simpler to just give Check. the pawn back. And this is a winning position for white, but it's not easy to to win just from for for the time. Ah, I can just take a6. This is this is the easiest. But even this position is also just winning. It's just a matter of precision, but I couldn't I couldn't find find the way that I'm even losing is of course a big joke, but I, I ran into this uh, this bishop e5 thing. Yeah, I mean, I can shuffle whatever, but maybe something like that. I need to gain a little bit of space and maybe go from there. This might be, uh, this is better. Now rook f3 is really threatening. And db6 is also hanging. Something like that. Hmm. Yeah, well, the computer now gives queen d8, which basically means that black resigns. Uh, yeah. hmm. This is a fairly easy win. The d-pawn is not going anywhere, and white is just coming up with the king and, and invades with his rook. It's a very simple win. I, I really couldn't find, find a way forward. Here, rook e8 is also winning. <laughs> Queen a8 or whatever. What what exactly is winning now? Ah, the queen has no way back. I'm threatening f3 with the queen trade. Yeah, can also resign after that. So I'm basically managed to find the only way to not win, which uh, is. I can of course do. Yeah, this is just stupid. Yeah, running right into bishop e5, <laughs> and now uh, you don't have any any square. Yeah. Yeah, check, this check. should should end in a draw, but with this little time, yeah, d3 was just good. You could have done that immediately. And here it check. it should it should end in a draw, but I I don't have any time. Queen d7 is check. the draw. Yeah, queen g6 is also leading to a losing king and pawn end game, but two seconds on the clock. Yeah, the whole problem for black is that this is a strategically very bad position with this eternal weakness on d5 and um, he lost a couple of moves so this is this is very nice and uh, probably the whole the the real way to do it is this c4 is, is of course keeping this eternal advantage but uh, well he went crazy with rook d4 which wasn't necessary really after that it's just one zero okay thanks for watching